Multiverses is a newly released 2D fighting game published by Warner Bros and available for free through Steam and the Epic Game Store. The game currently features 17 playable characters from various franchises owned by Warner Bros, including Game of Thrones, DC Comics, Looney Tunes, with more to join the character roster in the near future. The game is available for Windows, Xbox, and PlayStation, with no Mac version in sight. Unfortunately for Mac users, this means they won't be able to natively play multiverses. That said, there are several neat workarounds that can let you play the game on a Mac, and we're about to show them in this video. When it comes to playing unsupported games on a Mac, there are two main approaches you can take. The first one is to stream the game to your Mac using the Boosteroid cloud gaming service. The second one is to install Windows on your Mac and then download the game within the Windows environment. The advantage of the cloud gaming approach is that the hardware specs on your Mac don't matter. This allows you to play even the most demanding games on weaker and older Macs because the game would really be running on a remote gaming rig that you connect to your Mac. Another plus is that you don't need to download the game. A big advantage considering that some games can take up to half of your storage space. A potential downside to cloud gaming is having a bad internet connection that would lead to lots of lag and an overall bad experience. The other downside is that most cloud gaming platforms require a monthly fee. There are hardly any free options and the ones that are available are very limiting. On the other hand, if you choose to play multiverses by first getting Windows, your experience will be less impacted by the internet you use, but then your Mac will need to cover the system requirements of the game. As a positive though, Multiverse is surprisingly undemanding for a 2020 game, so you should be able to run it even on weaker Macs. It's also worth noting that playing through Windows will cause your Mac to get very hot, which could lead to degraded performance, especially if you're using an Intel model. And to be honest, in my own experience, saying it gets hot is an understatement. The temperature gets so high that it gets uncomfortable while playing. A third downside of this approach is that it takes more time to set up. None of these issues are present with cloud gaming. Right off the bat, we must say that we recommend the cloud gaming method for the reasons mentioned above. However, your internet connection has to be up to the task. We'll tell you about a cloud gaming service called Boostroid that features the game in its library and using it is super simple. Just register on the site, go to your profile, click the subscribe button, and start your subscription. Once you're subscribed, type the game's name in the search bar on the top. Open the game's page, select play, and then click on OK, let's go. When you see the Steam login screen, enter your username and password to start playing. After Multiverse starts, you'll need to confirm your age, accept the terms of use, and then click on Visit Website to log into your Warner Bros account or to create a new one if you don't already have an account. After you link your Warner Bros and Steam accounts, click on Stop to quit Multiverses and then click Play to start the game again. This time you'll already be logged in and the game will begin. With Boostroid, the game's image quality is capped at 1080p and 60 frames per second, but whether you actually get that depends on your internet. The service will automatically lower the game's resolution and FPS to keep the performance smooth when experiencing connectivity disruptions. If you want to try Boostroid, we recommend using it through Chrome or Opera as the service is optimized for these two. It can work on other browsers like Safari, but in testing we found the experience to be subpar. Specifically for this game, we have had the best experience using Boosteroid. As the performance is mostly influenced by the internet speed, we recommend testing your connection before committing to the service. To test it yourself, you can find a link below the video. If you don't think cloud gaming is for you, there's also the option to turn your Mac into a Windows PC. Well, sort of. While there will be some drawbacks, it's possible to install Windows on a Mac and run compatible software, including games. There are two ways you can achieve this. The first one is to use the built-in Bootcamp Assistant app to install Windows, but this one works only on Intel Macs. The other method is to create a virtual machine within your Mac, using an app called Parallels. This works on both Intel and M1 machines, but the downside here is that it puts more strain on your computer's hardware and only high-end Macs will be able to run the game this way. With both those methods, expect very high CPU temperatures while gaming, which could often lead to CPU throttling and in turn a decrease in performance. To get Windows on your Mac with the Bootcamp Assistant, first go to the Microsoft site and download a 64-bit Windows ISO file. Then navigate to the Utilities folder on your Mac, launch the Bootcamp Assistant, and click Continue. Load the ISO file, 
then allocate at least 120 gigabytes to the Windows partition and start the installation. Next, simply follow the prompts to install Windows and personalize its settings, and you should be ready to go. The only thing left after that is to install any necessary drivers so that your Mac can run Windows without any issues. We have a detailed guide on the whole process linked in the description. With Windows on your Mac, all that's left to do is download the game as you would on a Windows PC. As we said, Multiverses has low system requirements, but if your Mac is still struggling to run it, here are some tips to improve the performance. First, type Graphics Settings in the Start menu and open the first result. Click Browse, navigate to the Games folder, select its icon and click Add. Select Options, enable the High Performance Settings and click Save. Now go to the Games folder again, right click it, open Properties. Select the Compatibility tab and set the Compatibility Mode to Windows 7. While there, also check the Disable Full Screen Optimizations and the Run This Program as Administrator options. Then click Change High DPI Settings, enable the Override option, and click OK on everything. Lastly, don't forget to lower the in-game settings before you start playing. There you'll find a helpful drop-down menu that lets you adjust the resolution scaling, so you don't need to lower your default screen resolution. This will significantly lower the game's image quality, but should provide you with a noticeably improved performance. Of course, you can tinker around with these settings to see what works best for you. In the bootcamp test we ran, we used our 2016 MacBook Pro that has 8GB of RAM, and we got a surprisingly smooth performance without any stuttering. We set the resolution scaling to 60%, but we could have gone even higher without too much decrease in performance. As for the other graphical settings, the game automatically detected that we aren't running it on powerful hardware, so it adjusted everything to very low in order to keep the game playable. However, believing that the game has underestimated our trustworthy Mac, we tested at medium settings and would you know it, the game ran just fine. Sure there was a bit of stuttering, but the frame rate stayed the same, so we count that as a win. Overall, if you own an Intel Mac, installing Windows through Bootcamp to play Multiverses is a perfectly valid option as long as you don't mind getting your Mac hot. To use Parallels, you first need to download and install it on your Mac. Then launch the app and click the Install Windows button to begin creating a Windows Virtual Machine. Once the VM is ready, open it and download the desired game. This is how gaming through Parallels is supposed to work, but when we tried to play Multiverses in this way on an M1 Mac, we got an error message. We tested the Parallels method on our Intel Mac as well, and the result was the same. In other words, playing Multiverses on Mac via Parallels doesn't work so you should stick to the other methods we mentioned. Here are the conclusions that we have made after testing each method. Cloud gaming is best for users with a good internet connection that have an older and slower Mac as well as M-based Silicon Macs. Bootcamp is the best option for Macs that have a high-performing Intel-based chip with lots of storage. Parallels Virtual Machine works well with M-Silicon chips, but unfortunately doesn't support all games, including multiverses. And so this concludes our overview. Hopefully one of the suggested options would allow you to have fun with the game on your Mac. If you liked this video and found it helpful, we'd appreciate if you leave a like or a comment below. Also, if you want to see more interesting Apple related content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell. It helps us greatly and allows us to keep making more videos.